Hi, my name is Lisa. I am relatively new to First Church, um, but I'm excited to be getting involved. We've been going through the uh, book of Exodus here on Sunday mornings, and so let's set the scene. Moses has fled the land of Egypt after killing a slave master who was ruthlessly beating an Israelite. He has fled to the land of Midian, and there he has married and started a family, and he begins tending the sheep of his father-in-law. One day in Exodus chapter 3, Moses is out tending his sheep in the land of Horeb, the mountain of God, and he hears a voice coming from a burning bush. Moses investigates the bush, and he hears the voice who is none other than God, who has come to speak to him. God says, take off your sandals, you are on holy ground. And Moses approaches the bush in fear and trembling, and God says, I am the God of your father Abraham and the God of your father Jacob. I have heard the cries of your people in Israel, and I have come to deliver them from their bondage. Now, how is he going to do this? Well, God is going to send Moses. Um, the same Moses that fled Egypt in fear is going to return to deliver his people. Moses immediately feels inadequate, but God is not asking him to go alone. God says, I will be with you. The presence of God becomes a comfort to Moses um, as the deliverer of God's people. Moses says, who are you? Who will I tell the Israelites sent me? God says, I am who I am. At this moment, God identifies his unchanging nature. Um, the Hebrew translation for I am is Yahweh. And the name Yahweh means that God is a God who is faithful in keeping His promises, and He is sovereign in all things. He is self-sufficient and lacking in nothing. And what a gracious God Yahweh is that although He is self-sufficient and lacking in nothing, He would hear the cries of His people and respond by delivering them.